Hi, it's me, Shay. Miss Kule, if you're nasty. I'm here with Wirecutter, and I'm gonna share with you my top five that make me slay. Bounce dryer sheets. Now these have multiple purposes besides keeping your laundry soft. You know, sometimes when you're traveling, you can be on the road for days at a time in the same costumes, and girl, they can get a little funky. Put some dryer sheets in there with things like tights and costumes, and it helps to keep them smelling super fresh. Have a synthetic wig? I mean, girl, we all do. Take a dryer sheet, rub it on your hair, smooth down some of those flyaways, and it is a perfect way to kind of add a little bit of softness and texture to a used wig. One percent isopropyl alcohol. This has multiple uses, but a major hack that not a lot of people know about. Let's say you're a little short on hairspray. Using a little bit of 91% alcohol, you can use it to restyle, get a little bit extra volume in your hair, and once that water evaporates, you're left with a fresh new look. One of my next items that I always carry with me is a black Sharpie. This is always handy in case you run into an adoring fan. Hey, Kalu, I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you too. So that way you're always available to sign an autograph on the go. There you go, I love you too. Now, let's say that you're getting to the gig and you notice you got a couple scuffs on those shoes, girl. Take that Sharpie. Go into that shoe where you're missing a little bit of that extra paint and just go and color that girl right on in. Mm. Now, sometimes this surface might have a little bit more than usual that you'll need to cover. It's okay. Just make sure you leave yourself enough time because no one likes a late drag queen. Also, if you notice that you have a little blemish, you can beauty mark. <laughs> I am here with my lovely model, Haley, and I am going to demonstrate for you a five minute facelift. Now look at her, she's young, she's beautiful, she's vibrant. She does not need this at all. But sometimes you just wanna feel a little bit more snatched. You know what I'm saying? First things first, we wanna put on a wig cap because we want to protect the hair. Child traction alopecia is not cute and we don't want to subject anybody to that. You're gonna get this special tape. Now the brand that I like to use is Willem's Tuck Tape. Now, this can be used for more than just tucking. You can use it to remove glitter. You can use it to get rid of lint on a black wool dress. And you can also use it for a nice facelift. I'm first gonna go and take my 91% isopropyl alcohol. Spray this, get a little bit wet, and I'm just going to prep the skin so that the tape takes to the skin really well. We're going to apply one piece of tape to the temple here, perfect. Sometimes I just like go in with the scissors that I cut the tape with and I smooth the tape down forward. Grab the tape, give the face a nice little pull upward, wrap it around to this side of the head, go behind the ear and attach it right there. And then I'll repeat that on the other side. All right, then I attach it to one of the pieces of tape. Yes. <laughs> Apply your wig on top of this and no one will ever see the tape that's underneath. And they'll all be wondering, why is she so rested? She's like, I'm not, I'm cheating. <laughs> So this is something that I feel like drag queens run into all the time, stain removal. This is called Fells Naphtha. You cannot tell because I have used so much of this bar that it now looks like a piece of cheese. So here we go. First, you wanna get your little bar of Fells Naphtha nice and wet. It also helps if you do like a little wet on like the fabric as well. Start rubbing. And as you can see, I maybe made about 10 passes and that stain is pretty much already gone. And let me tell you, you know, I'm on the darker side of the spectrum. You know, I got a lot of melanin. There's a lot of things that you gotta get out of your clothes, girl. But look at it, it's already gone. Go out, get yourself a bar now and be the best glamour girl that you could ever be. <laughs> People are like, what did you do at work today? You're like, I got tortured by a drag queen. <laughs> 
Oh my God, Renee Zellweger who? Right, honey? 